far out at sea, fish that live near the surface might feel some turbulence as a storm passes. But most sea creatures, including dolphins, whales, and sharks, avoid the rough surface water and swim to calmer seas. But it's a different story near shore. Changes in water temperature and salinity can be catastrophic for marine life. Hurricanes can generate massive waves which mix warm surface water with cooler, saltier water below, generating currents that extend up to 91 meters below the surface. These currents are so strong that they can sweep manatees inland into canals and ponds or away from coastal waters altogether and into the open ocean where they can become disoriented and even die. Hurricanes also bring heavy rain, so fresh water often floods coastal areas. And because fresh water is less dense than salt water, it sits on top of the salt water, like oil on vinegar, where it can prevent oxygen from reaching the salty layer below and disrupt salinity levels, which can lead to sores, lesions, and ultimately death in whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Hurricanes can also kick up dirt and sand in shallow seas, which can kill fish by clogging their gills. Experts think that this is probably one of the factors that killed an estimated 9.4 million saltwater fish in 1992 during Hurricane Andrew. The dirty, murky water also blocks sunlight from reaching corals and seagrass. In fact, scientists found that coral cover in the Caribbean decreases on average by 17% a year after a hurricane strikes. But hurricanes are not always bad news for sea life, believe it or not. After Hurricane Katrina damaged or destroyed 90% of fishing boats in the Mississippi Sound, scientists observed a huge increase in dolphin births. Without all the fishing boats around, dolphins suddenly found themselves with tons of fish all at their disposal, and their populations thrived.